Just like the first day of harvest. I'm back in here again because that same old belt broke again. Well, not the old belt, the new belt. It's got a whole like 150 hours on it. So replace the belt so the engine doesn't overheat. Back to work, last field of beans. Almost done with 2019 soybeans. These are the double crop beans behind my house. They're doing really well, averaging 44 bushels an acre. Not bad for a planted half on July 4th, half on July 8th. Be done here in about five acres and all that's left after this is 246 acres of corn. It was about this time one of my truck drivers called me and when I saw my caller ID, I thought, this can't be good news. It was not good news. New wheel and tire, big flat spot on the rim, had to take the fender off the truck, just about ready to go. So after we had that blowout on the highway and got this one replaced, we got it back home and saw how really worn the other three were. This is a 2008 trailer we bought in 2010. And these are those were the original tires. So they lasted 11 years. We decided to go super singles again because honestly that was the first problem we ever had with them. And we kind of like them uh, just for it makes it easier to get up in the trailer. I like the wheels because they don't hold water like dual wheels do in that inner lip and they get stains and stuff like that. So we'll give the super singles another try. Uh, the only problem is you're loaded, you have a blowout, you're not moving. It's the last of the 2019 beans. Three rows, two rows. One short little row. The beans are all gone. We got them. There we go. There's some light. We got all the beans. You did the last two passes. Nice work. We'll pull up to the end row and stop, and Jerry will pull up and unload us.